angels are saying to you. Unexpected blessings are coming your way. You will move forward from barely making it to having more than enough. I am going to open up supernatural doors for you. I will speak to the right people about you. You will see Ephesians 3.20. Exceedingly abundantly above and beyond favor and increase in your life. God has some blessings coming your way that are going to cause you to forget what you've been through, forget who hurt you, forget what you lost, forget what wasn't fair. You may have gotten a double dose of trouble, but a double dose of favor is coming. What are you worrying about? Why are you losing sleep? You may not see how it can work out, but what you can't see is me, your heavenly father, maneuvering things in your favor, moving the wrong people out of the way, lining up good breaks and turning negative situations around. God is releasing a divine suddenly in your life. Suddenly the chains that were holding you will break. Suddenly you will get the job you've been praying for. Suddenly your relationship will be restored. Suddenly your healing will come. Suddenly your breakthrough will come. If you believe, type, suddenly. I know money is scarce and friends are few right now. You are not sure what you are going to do. Eviction is looming. Unemployment is still raging. Bills are piling up. But I am still with you. I have a plan. I want you to stay strong in me. Everything will be all right. I know your name, your heart, and your circumstances. Your breakthrough is coming. Hold on. You may have prayed this morning. God, how much longer? But what God is saying to you today is, your miracle, your breakthrough, your way out is coming. Hold on. It's closer than you think. God is strategic. He has laid out an exact plan for our lives right down to the smallest details. He knows the people you need to meet in order to fulfill your destiny. He knows who is going to give you a good break and who is going to put in a good word for you. He knows when someone is going to need to be there to help you out of a difficult time. God has it all figured out. He is orchestrating your life right down to the very second causing you to be at the right place at the right time so you can meet the right people that he has ordained before the foundation of the world. I will not leave you with no help. I am always here. I am your help. You are never alone. I know you are going through a lot and it is hard to even see the road. But have faith in me. I am the same God who has been keeping, preserving, protecting, providing, delivering and comforting you all of your life. And I will not leave you or forsake you now. Things are going to turn around for you because of your faithfulness. I am sending great change into your life. I have heard your prayers. I know your heart and I know you want better. I am sending better and greater your way. You have endured much in your life. People have walked away from you, judging you. But... It only matters what I say you are. Stay on the path. I didn't create you to be perfect. I created you to be faithful. I declare God is going to do something amazing in your life. God is going to move you from the back of the line to the front. He is going to move your resume from the bottom of the pile to the top. He is going to heal your body, mind, and relationships. God is not finished with you. You're going to laugh again, you're going to trust again, and you're going to love again. I am going to restore everything you've lost. You will bounce back emotionally from every setback, especially when you realize it was a setup for your comeback. All things are working together for your good. Rom 828 I don't care how dark it looks, God never goes back on his word. What God has for you, it is for you. What he has spoken over your life is going to happen. The devil is a liar. Whatever he is bringing against you to pull you down will not prosper. God's leading you. He's growing you. He's showing you how good he can be in your life. When he's done, the world will recognize there's a God in heaven, and his power is real.
Ask the Lord to give you the good news while you're dealing with today's news. His promises are true and His word does not return void. Never forget, I am always with you, in good times and in bad times, on mountaintops and in valleys, in joy and in tears, in blessings and in trials. Whatever you are going through, I am right there beside you, every day, every night, every step of the way. I love you and I won't leave you. Trust me to take care of you and be faithful to you in every season that you walk through. Today is the best day of my life. My life is so exciting and fun. I wake up so excited to live my life. I stay motivated and disciplined. I am becoming more and more aligned. My intuition is getting stronger. Everything is aligning for my dream life. My faith is strong. I believe I can have anything I desire. I keep receiving everything I've been wanting. I have so much confidence in myself and my dreams. I release old mental habits and old beliefs that are holding me back. I am so grateful everything is always working out for me. I am unstoppable. I am so focused on my goals and dreams that nothing can get in the way of me realizing them. I am going to make a powerful positive impact on the planet. The universe is clearing a perfect path for me. I am blessed beyond measure. Positive energy and good news is flowing to me in every direction. I'm attracting a gifted circle of friends who are in harmony with me. I am in divine alignment with Source and therefore everything I need in order to manifest my dreams is on the way. I am at peace. I am one with peace. I am one with harmony. I am one with tranquility. I am a transparency for love. Right now, I allow the love of the divine to flow freely through every part of me, dissolving everything that is not of love. I let go and release all resentment and anger. I choose to be a clear vessel. I choose to be happy within myself. I choose to feel clear within myself. I choose now to feel loved. My mind is like a clear lake. Peace and tranquility are now restored. I accept myself. I love myself. I free myself from any unhelpful bonds with any other person. As I begin my day, I rest in the fact that God has gone before me. See Deuteronomy 31.8 2. I have asked and received my God-given wisdom to tackle my day-to-day -day activities. See James 1-5 3. The Holy Spirit is guiding me today into all truth. See John 16.13 4. Through Christ I can do all things. See Philippians 4.13. 5. All my needs are supplied. See Philippians 4.19. 6. I am disciplined, spirit, soul, and body. See 2 Timothy 1.7 and 1 Corinthians 9.27. 7. I am clothed with strength and dignity. See Proverbs 31.25. 8. I am a wonderful work and creation of God. See Psalm 139-14. 9. The Lord Almighty is with me. The God of Jacob is my fortress. See Psalm 46, 11. 10. The grace of God is sufficient for me. See 2 Corinthians 12, 9. 11. I am radically transformed by the renewing of my mind. See Romans 12, 1 to 2. 12. Uh. I cast all your anxiety on you, Lord, because you care for me. See 1 Peter 5, 7. 13. I will not be anxious about anything, but in every situation, by prayer and petition, with thanksgiving, I will present my requests to God. See Philippians 4, 6. 14. The peace of God, which transcends all understanding, will guard my heart and mind in Christ Jesus. See Philippians 4, 6. 15. I will fear no evil, for you are with me. Your rod and your staff comfort me. See Psalm 23, 4. 16. I do not have a spirit of fear, but of power, love, and a sound mind. See 2 Timothy 1, 7. 17. Thank you, Lord, for your plans to prosper me and not to harm me, plans to give me hope and a future. See Jeremiah 29 to 11. 18. I am chosen by God. See Ephesians 1, 4, and we are in Peter 2, 9. 
19. I am forgiven. See 1 John 1 9. 20. I am God's workmanship. See Ephesians 2 upon 10. 21. I am an overcomer. See 1 John 4 4. 22. I am redeemed. See 1 Peter 1 18. I declare today, the Lord is my shepherd, my helper, my refuge, and strong tower. My days of living in the valley are now over. God's favor is taking me to live on mountaintops. God is turning my not enough into more than enough. I will not fail. I will not lose. I will not be ashamed. I will soar to new levels of favor and blessings. I am covering bigger ground in my divine assignments. I am conscious of my heavenly citizenship and take advantage of my rights and privileges. I will live above the devil and his influences and enjoy God's supernatural provision. The angel of the Lord encamps around me. No evil shall overtake me. I will not slip and fall into the traps of the enemy. A thousand may fall at my side and ten thousand at my right hand, but it will not come near me. I will find safety under God's wings. His faithfulness will be my shield and protective wall. I will not be knocked down, but I will continually knock Satan out. God has ordained me to walk in love, power, favor, and blessing. I am anointed, appointed, authorized, and armed with the word of God. I boldly use my authority to destroy Satan's strongholds. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. I declare today, I am more than a conqueror through Christ who loves me. The battles and the storms of this life will never be able to defeat me. No matter how the winds of sorrows, setbacks, and struggles may blow, I shall never be moved in Jesus' name. No matter how the waters of discouragement and disappointment may rise, I will never drown. No matter how the fires of hatred, jealousy, and envy may burn, they shall never destroy me in Jesus' name. There is nothing that the enemy can do to steal my joy and peace. I am more than a conqueror. Every battle I face will be an opportunity to take territory for the kingdom of God. I am a champion who wins every fight. The great love of Christ turns my pain into strength, my sorrows into joy, and my famines into showers of blessings. In Jesus' glorious name, Amen. The will of God will never take you, where the grace of God cannot keep you, where the arms of God cannot support you, where the riches of God cannot supply your needs, where the power of God cannot endow you. The will of God will never take you, where the Spirit of God cannot work through you, where the wisdom of God cannot teach you, where the army of God cannot protect you, where the hands of God cannot mold you, the will of God will never take you, where the love of God cannot enfold you, where the mercies of God cannot sustain you, where the peace of God cannot calm your fears, where the authority of God cannot overrule for you. The will of God will never take you, where the comfort of God cannot dry your tears, where the word of God cannot feed you, where the miracles of God cannot be done for you, where the omnipresence of God cannot find you. Please go before us this week. Fill us with your Holy Spirit. Please cleanse us from our sins and anything that displeases you. Help us to be aware of anything in our lives that draws us away from you and keeps us from being the best we can be. Help us to be willing to say yes, even when it's scary. We think of Mary and how terrified she must have been when the angel came to her and told her she would give birth to Jesus, a young woman who would experience something no other woman had experienced, something that would not be understood by others, but she was unafraid to say yes to you, and her life and all of our lives were forever changed. The apostles were unafraid to say yes to Jesus and their lives and our lives were forever changed. Sometimes you ask us to do things that are out of our comfort zones. You ask us to do things that others won't understand. 
Sometimes you call us to do things that are so beyond what we can do on our own, just so you can show your strength in our weakness and your power in a life yielded to you. Help us to be unafraid and courageous as you work in our lives. Help us to make the most of our days. Help us to remember that you are always working behind the scenes and it is always for our good and with our best interest in mind. We dedicate our lives, this day, this week, to you, Lord, and we ask you to have your way with us so that you might be glorified in us and through us. We trust you with our every need and thank you in advance for the blessings that we know are waiting to be bestowed upon us. In the name of Jesus we pray. Amen. Lord, you are my provider. You supply everything I need. I pray you would cleanse me from anything that blocks me from receiving what you have for me. Forgive me for anything I've done that has brought no glory to your kingdom. Keep me away from those who desire to manipulate me for their gain. Lift my heart from sorrow and pain. I need you, Lord God, to light the way and path for me. I surrender everything that I am to you. Give me the strategy to sustain and maintain the favor you have for me. Show me how to handle the blessings you have prepared for me. Bless those who are connected to me with peace and strength. Transform my life so that I'll never be the same. Open up doors for me and teach me how to walk into them and stay. Keep your hand upon me in all things. Give me the discipline I need to walk in the things that are good for me. I declare consistency over my life and my family. It is so and so it is. Jesus' name, amen and amen again. I declare, no weapon formed against my health will prosper. Jesus has already healed every sickness and disease that tries to come upon me. I have faith and know that by his stripes I am healed. Christ is binding up my wounds, curing my pain, and bringing healing and health to every part of me. I declare, my spirit, soul, and body are prosperous, healed, healthy, and whole, according to the word of God. Divine healing is being manifested in my body, my cells, my organs, and systems. My body is blessed, my body is the temple of the Holy Ghost, and my youth is renewed like the eagles. Rivers of living water are flowing through my veins, my arteries, and my blood. I am lost from the bondage of infirmity and sickness, forever. Every attack upon my health is destroyed today by the blood of Jesus. I have authority and power over all disease and sickness, and I command them to leave my body in Jesus' name. I release the healing power of the Holy Spirit into every part of my body, Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Thank you, O God, that you can do immeasurably more than we could ask or imagine according to your power that is at work within us. Chapter 3, 20, 21. Therefore, your power is sufficient to resolve our problems, pressures, suffering, crisis, worries, or stress. It can lighten the load that we are carrying too, because you said that we can cast our cares unto thee, because you care for us. 1 Peter 5, 7. Praise you. Father, because you are more than adequate to supply any need that we will ever have. So therefore, Father, help us to understand that we will only know that power that works within us if we go out of our comfort zones. If we are weak, we will know that your grace is enough for us and that you can strengthen us. You promise that your power is made perfect in our weakness. 2 Coroner 12-9 if we are in need, then you can show that you can provide for our needs. If we need to grow up in our character, then our patience and love should be tested. Of course, how can we practice patience if you will not let us encounter difficult people, or if we instantly get what we prayed for, even if it is not the right time yet? People that are broke, destitute, poor, wanting, and needy 
that you are sending along our path or our chance to show your love by giving our time or resources. And if we want to practice forgiveness, then we should practice them for unlovable people. We have more than enough of them just in our circles. Maybe forgive ourselves too as you had forgiven us because we can be the difficult ones. Thank you that even though there will be a Red Sea before us, desert on one side and mountain on the other side, and the enemy is pursuing us. You can provide an escape route for us as you did with the Israelites. You have the power to do the supernatural, the unthinkable, and the impossible. My, what an awesome God we have. As long as we are still here on earth, there will always be hope. Thank you that you will never forsake us or abandon us because you are a promise keeper. I pray and give thanks in Jesus' name. Amen. Heavenly Father, I pray, O oh God, that you take control, I of our lives. Renew the vision that you had given us. Lit a fire in our hearts and keep it burning. Restore the youth, the brokenhearted, and the old. Those dreams that are covered with dust, make them come true, O oh God. Give us vision, O oh God, and remove everything that hinders so those visions be accomplished. The spiritual roots in us, let them awaken, quickened and strengthened by your spirit and your word. Let there be spiritual connections between us believers, strong and bound, connected by your love for the advancement of your kingdom. One mind, one purpose, one Lord. Let your blood flow to each one, covering, cleansing, and purifying us. Let there be life in every part. Extend our arms, further, wider, and out of our comfort zones. Combine supernatural ideas that come from you. Spiritual and natural combinations. Fill us with the energy that we need to do thy will. As a result, there will be supernatural progress. Holy Ghost, be in every corner, in every place, in every heart, and free everyone from the darkness. You had given us a part, a work to do. Therefore, help us to do our parts with joy in our hearts. You began a good work in us, and thank you that you will complete it. Demonstrate your power, Lord, so that it will be seen by the people we encounter every day. Do not let us be discouraged, but be encouraged to do thy will. Each and every one should do what they ought to do, to function as a Lord. Do not let us follow the voice of the enemy. I apply the blood of Jesus to every ear, that we would hear your voice and follow it. Let there be signs and wonders wherever we go, that people will see us as living epistles, that you demonstrate and manifest in us, Lord. I pray that the words that were sown in every heart will produce fruit of its own kind. Help us to abandon thoughts that do not come from you. Let us just think only of what you had spoken to us through the Holy Spirit and thy word, O God. Lead us to our destiny and your purpose in our lives. Thank you for the aid and assistance as we go. To help to expand our goals so that there will be an increase of souls that will serve and follow you. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. Dear God, thank you that we can come to you in prayer and thanksgiving. Thank you for the strength when we are weak, joy in difficult moments, peace in chaos, patience to wait for an answer to our prayers. I pray to the Lord that we will always be submissive and obedient to your will, so that there will be fruit in our endeavors. Let thy word be the last thing we see at night, and the first thing we read when we wake up every day. Let us find the joy in finding treasures from your word. The Holy Spirit arises in our midst. Help us to yield to what you say, to follow your lead no matter how hard it is. Fill us with courage and boldness. Let us be conformed unto thy likeness, to use words that come from heaven that brings transformation to our lives and others. Words that bend and fix, that inspires, comfort, and encourages. I pray that we will just focus on you and your will in us. Not to the left or right, not to be confused or discouraged, 
not to the glitters of this world, not to the media that is taking so much of our time with you and doing what you want us to do, because the days are evil. I lift to you those who have been called but have been drawn away. You know each one, Father. Call them back, Lord. Let your mercy flows, penetrate and reach in. I plead the blood of Jesus to all the backsliders, those that hold back, those that had been hurt, those that had been hindered to come, those that are blinded by this world and the enemy, those that hate, and those who are in need. Let your message reach the inner core of their hearts. I pray for your word that was planted in their hearts to be rekindled, to be alive, to blossoms and bear fruit. I pray for the spirit of repentance to arise and that each soul will run to you quickly. Let your angels minister to each one, Lord. Clothe them with the righteousness that we have in Jesus. I pray for each one to enjoy the beauty in your presence. Father, I pray that we will discern your will in our lives and walk carefully before you. Let us fear you, then our future, and the difficulties that are ahead of us. I pray for us to see the love that you have lavishly given to us. Help us to give that love to others at every opportunity, and to be obedient even to the death of oneself, dead to the world, but totally alive with you. Thank you that whatever we do for your kingdom matters because we belong to you. I lift up those that are in authority to listen to you. Connect us, Father, to build your kingdom. And thank you that greater is you that is in us than he that is in the world. Make us like-minded, a mighty army, and let you light that never fades shine in us. I pray in Jesus' name, amen. Prayer for peace of mind. Father God, I thank you for the gift of peace of mind. The peace that passes all understanding, a unique kind of peace that the world cannot give and is free for the taking of those seeking, because those who seek will find, and for those who knock, the door will be opened. Thank you that we don't need to be troubled or afraid with you in our lives. We only need to pursue righteousness and your unfailing love so that we will find life, righteousness, and honor. Thank you that no matter what we are going through, it matters to you. God, help us then to honor you in everything we think, say, and do. Form us unto thy likeness in words, character, and deeds. Let our lives bring honor to thy name, because you deserve all the glory and honor our almighty God. Thank you that we can ask anything according to thy will, and you will give it to us when the time is right. I pray in Jesus' name. Subscribe our YouTube channel to reach 500 soon. Please share this to 100 people, only if you love God. Jesus, thanks for watching.